Hey guys, it's Angie. If you are new to my channel, hi. I do weed, weed content. Um, I vlog a daily uh, daily vlog, vlog my week and everything like that. So if you like those types of videos, give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell. And yeah. Um, so I really haven't um, been on here since uh, everything that's gone on with the Black Lives Matter and everything like that and coronavirus here in Arizona they're starting to protest and coronavirus is starting to come back so I don't know what's gonna happen but it feels like 2020 is just I don't know what to, what to think or you know but, um so I'm going to have links um, below on where you can donate, where you can help uh, with the protest or anything like that. Um, I haven't got to go down there and protest or anything. Um, we had the kids for two weeks straight, so I had to watch the kids while my boyfriend went to work. Uh, but. But growing up, I don't know how to say this, but I, I grew up in a small town, a, ra a racist small town. I, I lived in a small, small town. It was mostly, it was all white people. I had like maybe one or two people that were like black in my high school. So, I mean like, I know I'm not racist. I know I love everybody. I love it. <sighs> so, I just can't understand, like, how people can think. I guess think that way about somebody or be hateful. We had that, um, that woman go viral here in Arizona where she, she was very mean, like, I just don't understand why people act like that. They were saying that her mental health was, like, very bad, but still, like, I just don't understand why there's people like that live with treats me like that or I was bullied my whole life so I just don't understand how people can be so mean sometimes you know I was bullied because I was poor so I mean like I didn't have money growing up we lived paycheck to paycheck so it's, I never cared about money. I never, you know, I lived, I was very poor growing up. I'm still poor. I lived check to check, paycheck to paycheck, you know? I don't care how much money you have. I don't care what you look like. It doesn't matter. Our cops really need to be trained. I'm scared. I'm scared as a white person. So you've been even pulled over. I'm always checking if there's cops behind me. If I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or if there's a. I mean, I'm always checking if there's cops behind me. I've only been pulled over twice, but. 
and it's just, I've always been scared. And I shouldn't have to be scared of the cops. Been doing Instacart all day. Um, I just got home and I got me some milk and some ice cream. Um, I made a hundred dollars today. Here's I made a hundred and twenty. Um, That's my little rant about Black Lives Matter, but I'll have uh, links below and like, I'll look up like so that you guys can um, help donate, um, information about protest, um, there's some GoFundMes that are, uh, for people that are getting arrested during the protest, I'll link that below too, um, um, I really think they need to have the cops go back to school, do a program for almost a year and a half or something to teach them. That's what I think they need to happen. I mean, you can't teach somebody not to be racist. So if they're, they are racist, they need to be out. They need a, I don't know if there's, I don't know how. Or get angry. It's just like, you see cops punching somebody. I'm just like, that's not the right way to handle something is to punch somebody. You shouldn't be able to punch somebody if you're a cop. Just because they don't like what you're saying or just because you call them a name they're they're supposed to be able to calm the situation down to be able to diffuse to get the situation to that way everybody can talk not to exploit and like I just don't understand I watch a lot of conspiracies and videos and um, I'm not going um, yeah. but look down below for those links and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Some new strategy for law enforcement there in the city. But a lot of people are questioning those moves. What will defunding the police look like? What will be the impact of ordinary citizens? Joining us now is retired assistant police chief Kevin Robinson. I'm sure you recognize him. Kevin was uh, on all of our air for a long time and been with Phoenix PD for, for decades there. Now at ASU, Kevin, it's great to see you. I uh, wish I could see you more often here and under better circumstances. But when you hear defund the police, what's the first thing that goes into your mind? Well, unfortunately, I, I think of it as a, it's a misguided concept, a misguided idea. Just realistically, society cannot do without police. I think a more appropriate term would be possibly to reallocate some funding that would normally go to law enforcement, that would normally go to police departments, and use it in other means. And hopefully those other means would help to stem or reduce the amount of, um,
switch from just doing the TV view or I don't know which one should I do. Have the camera on me or on the TV? I'm gonna take two of these. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Angie. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. I'm um, gonna be playing VR today. Oh, hi. So, stay tuned. All right, so I think I have everything set up. <laughs> All right, I'll turn you guys around. The PlayStation menu of all the games. I don't know what I wanna play yet. Golf is pretty cool. Uh, the VR, I like doing the VR. This thing is pretty cool. So I'm going to turn you guys around. Sometimes I might turn you guys towards the uh, TV. But I'm going to kind of like go back and forth, I guess.
I right, got my storage situation settled at my dipper turn. I'm kidding. Running. Thank you. Alright, uh, I'm playing a little bit more game. The game, I'm feeling pretty high. Um, getting hungry. 
and some sweet ice cream in there. Mm. I need more red hair. That's really good. Alright, I'm get to play in some more games. I'm gonna watch YouTube one here. You can see it on the TV. I have to go to work at night.
dark. It's really it's always sunny in here. Put some light in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, jealous. Something sweet. So, I got me some lucky charms. Lucky charms. Hey guys, I'm um, about to go to the dispensary to get some more weed. Um, I got some edibles and a pen. Um, a cartridge and yeah so they just recommended everybody to wear face masks today well it'd be in an effect uh, tomorrow but yeah so a lot of business businesses are gonna be mandating that you wear a mask and so, yeah the numbers are going up like every day so um, I did Instacart today um, a little bit and then I'll do a whole bunch tomorrow but yeah hey guys I'm back home um, went to Ponderosa Like going to them, they have really good uh, deals and everything. They got a free uh, so at this Pineapple Express, it's really good. Uh, 40 Unica 60 Sistiva. It's pretty good. And then I got these sour um, gummies. Or, yeah, sour gummies, blueberry CBD, and THC. One to one. These are really good too. I like the strawberry ones, but they didn't have those. And I got three watermelon suckers. Sublime. These are so good. They're 25 milligrams. And I think it's... Is it hybrid? Yeah, hybrid. No, these are 50. These are 50. 50 milligrams. These are really good. I'm gonna make some suckers. I really wanna make... We're gonna be making some more canvas butter. Gelato, one uh, one gram. Uh, pretty cool. Um, but yeah, go inside, relax. Um, oh, and I got a hybrid. Um, pretty real. So, yeah, pretty good. But we'll go ahead, go ahead and relax. Everybody was wearing their mask. I think it's so dirty because of my makeup. I got this is from Fry's. I like it because you can ingest it. 
little whoop, I just took it off. That's great. But you can like take it off and on. I have another one in the house if I broke it, but let's see if we can get it through there. But yeah, it's pretty good. I'm gonna wash it in the washer today and wash it. But um, I'm gonna go inside, relax, uh, play one of the suckers. So we'll see. Uh, but yeah, it's seven o'clock. The dispensary was busy, so I didn't really, it was hot. So. But I'm going in, relax, and then I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. So I'm going to try this sucker. It doesn't taste the weed, but it's good. Good. So, I'm gonna eat this and I'll check back in with you in 30 minutes. We'll see what happens. I'm starting to feel edible. good. I like eating this ice cream. It's salted caramel clusters and cashew milk. It's really good. I like putting it in the microwave to melt it a little bit. Nikki and Gabby on YouTube. I followed them ever since. It's been like ever since like yeah, in college. Who really misses the old YouTube? Like it's like crazy. It's the 
so different now. It's like, it's like really creamy and milky. Mm. And it's caramel, so it makes it creamy. It's really good. Alright, well, I'll check in, in a little bit. Alright, so I'm watching Nikki and Gabby. Dig into Nikki and Gabby on YouTube. Good night, sweet angels, and I'll see you in the morning. Bye.